Hey guys and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be showing you the A7S II and why it still might be worth it to buy in 2022. Let's jump in. So I just got this A7S II and it, yes it is 2022. So I'm going to be showing you why I got it and also why you might want to get one of these and a couple downsides to it as well. So let me first tell you why I got this camera. So the main reason I got this is I need a secondary camera and I really want it to be full frame because the camera I'm shooting on right now, the A6600 is ASPC. So I thought, you know what, why don't I get a full frame camera as well? And I decided to go for the A7S II because it's incredible low light capabilities. This camera, although it is still old, it came in at this date right here, but um, it is still incredibly good at low light. There are only one camera that beats it, and that's a successor to this, the A7S III, but the A7S III is like $4,000. So I decided, you know what, I'm not spending $4,000 on a camera, so I decided to look for one of these things used. And you can get one of these things new for, I believe, around $1,400, $1,500, $1,600. I'll put the price right here, and the link to it will be in the description where you can buy it on B&H Photo. But if you're gonna get it used, um, I actually got this for a very good deal, but you can usually get it around $1,000, maybe a little bit more. Now this camera is incredible. I'm putting up a couple photos right now that I shot with this. And I'll also be adding a couple videos. Um, and there you can just see how incredible this thing is at low light and just how amazing it looks with those really cool 4K videos that are up right now. This thing is just an incredible camera in the aspect that it is so old and yet the photos and videos just look so good from it. And that's why I might recommend for you to get this is because this camera, you can get it for very inexpensive online and it's actually a really, really good camera. Definitely be careful buying used. There's a lot of scams out there, trust me a lot a lot of scams now coming on to a couple of the downsides so this thing a lot of people go on and on about the autofocus personally i've not had that much of a problem with the autofocus it's not this camera like right now i can see in the little finder that is locked on to my eye with its little frame this one's not going to be doing that but it is decent and um it works if you really want to. I've tried sticking it out like this with a lens on it and filming and it got my face in focus just fine. So it will definitely be fine for that. However, it is not the best. So if you're really wanting, you know, I just really want a good autofocus, maybe go for like an A6400, something that just has better autofocus. But um, most of the time I have not really had any problems with it. And the one last con that I want to talk about is the battery life. And yes, the battery life is not the best. It's not terrible though, but it's not anything like an A6600 or an A7 III or anything near that, but it's not, it's not bad. So that is my experience with the A7S II. And this is just kind of like a first look review. I will probably be having a more detailed review on the A7S II coming out later. But those are my initial thoughts when I get this, when I got this camera what it could do and yeah i really do like this camera and i don't know why more people have not been recommending this because even in 2022 i think this camera is still worth it and i think if you're the per type of person that needs a camera that can do full frame low light have okay autofocus okay battery life all that then definitely go and buy an A7S II. So that's it. That's my first thoughts and review on the A7S II. Hope you enjoyed. If you don't mind, this channel's brand new, so if you could leave a sub and like, that would be incredible. And I'll see you on the next one.